been very, very good. I mean, he was one of the early adopters of the Mutaling Baneling mix, which is now standard. So, I mean, he's had a lot of experience with a lot of styles, was even ultra active in the beta. Right. So this is probably, I guess, his ninth month of playing this game. And, of course, this is the final day, but tomorrow is day two for the EG Masters Cup, and there's a lot more than just a first prize on the line. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the prizes. Third place is going to be winning $250. Second place, $500. At first place, not only just wins $1,000, but also a chance to... At, to play against EG Idra for the GT660 laptop, the same ones that we are using here uh, for the observing, for the broadcast as well. So thank you to MSI Notebook for sponsoring the EG Masters Cup, and I am excited to see who will face Idra this time around. Based off of what we've got with some of the players that are remaining, a uh, good chance at a T since we do have a TVT in one of the semifinals. And uh, we have... Uh, well, there's still uh, two Zerg, a Protoss, and two Terran left on the other side of the bracket. So it could turn out just about any way. Mm -hmm, and there's mm -hmm. the bracket right there. Of course, our first semifinal will be a TVT, VT Blur versus Nova Style Life. And then EG Machine, who is a Zerg, will go on to face Desro, Protoss, uh, or QXE, a Terran. And Slush, of course, who is a Zerg, goes on right now to face LG Pain user, a Terran, and that will determine uh, one of the places for the second semi-final. And one thing I... You know, this is a little bit unusual. QXC was actually unable to participate today. Right. So the admins allowed him to play all of his matches starting tomorrow morning. So rather than just beginning right at the semifinals, we get the chance to maybe see if QXC can make a full run to the finals tomorrow, or of course if his opponent uh, can make a full run to the finals. So that would actually be pretty interesting yeah. to see. We get the... The, the, the journey story beginning tomorrow morning. Keep in mind that even though this is the last match for today, we will be beginning bright and early at 2.30 Eastern. Oh, so early. Yeah, bright and early. But of course, yeah. 12.30 here in the Mountain Time Zone, or 11.30 if you are a West Coaster. All right, so uh, it looks like all the players are in here. I'm not going to play. The day I'd ask that I not play. Oh, I was figuring I could sneak that no, in there. No, and uh, we're going to get Slush in there uh, instead. And we're going to get started here with map number one. Looks like Zelnaga Caverns is going to be our first mm -hmm. matchup. Mm -hmm. um, some Zerg like this map. I do a lot. But some Zerg don't like this map versus Terran. Yeah, I mean, a real big issue for this map is that it's a two-player map. So this means that the Terran always knows where to send his Bunker Rush first. Or, you know, yeah. if you're all about you or players like the Muslim also love just sending the first SCV out on 12 to build an engineering bay at the opponent's natural expansion instead of opting for a barracks at all at the start, which is really, really annoying to deal with. Even then, two barracks uh, bunker rush plays are extremely easy to pull off on this map because there's a million and one locations to hide that second racks. So it looks like Slush is ready, and Pain User is just using the restroom to make sure that he is as light as possible going into this match. All right, now, it, was it Slush who had the really nice speedling build on this map? Uh, versus yeah. uh, All About You? Yeah, Slush brought down all the Zerglings to kill off the Engineering Bay with a drone. And then when the Engineering Bay was canceled, oh, right. he just built a Baneling Nest in his base. No expansion at all. And one with a fast Baneling bust. So we were just waiting for Pain User to pull back. And we will see if he'll be able to topple the mighty Zerg uh, of Pain User. Well, I'm very excited nonetheless. Um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Again, we've talked a lot about Pain User, his experience in tournaments. And uh, Slush, no different here. This is a classic TVZ matchup, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, as soon as they are ready, we're going to be hopping in there. Thanks for joining us all day long. All the communities who have joined us as well, Team Liquid, Ghost of Gamers, Reddit, NeoGAF, something awful. Uh, all you guys, uh, big support, and uh, of course, thanks to G4TV.com uh, for not only embedding the stream, but also doing additional coverage on the EG's Masters Cup, exposing a whole lot of people, uh, you know, getting involved in the... Uh, in the activity and the game, so love it. So it looks like Pain User has just returned from his restroom Let's adventure, and Slush has been at the computer as always. We'll be going into game one of the final quarterfinal match of Pain User against Slush. This is the last best of five of the day. 
But rest assured, we'll be beginning bright and early at 11.30 a.m. Pacific. We have pain user spawning in the bottom left as the Red Terran, and in the top left, Root Slush as the Blue Derg. Yeah, and uh, one thing I'm going to be looking for specifically is that, you know, if you're going to compare two Terrans on, on paper, in this case, All About You and Pain User, uh, All About You is defeated by Slush early in a 3 Two, so pain user on paper probably a little bit better Terran just based off of his tournament experience, uh -huh. what he's actually accomplished, etc. So you've almost got to wonder: Does Slush have what he needs in order to take down a very, very uh, beastly Terran like Pain User? Yeah, I mean, Slush has just so shown such incredible form throughout his career. But I mean, honestly, I feel like. With the Baneling bus he did today, it's not that they were necessarily bad or wrong, but they weren't true to the way you normally see him play things out. I think he was a little taken off guard by All About You's timing on that Scrap Station game that Slush eventually lost. Slush was even mentioning that in the chat afterwards, that he was kind of blown away by the build that All About You was doing. Um, but I think that on Zelnaga Caverns, there's just so little room for weirdness in the mid-game that if Slush can manage to extend the game to those later periods, he'll be quite comfortable. And, oh, oh the Engineering Bay block again. This is every Zerg's biggest annoying nightmare. It just looks like two more drones getting thrown down by Slush. Yep, and uh, also the pool has to go down at that point, just keeping that money. Uh, spending. It does look like this SCV is going to be taken out before it can even finish. No, it's going to go ahead and run away. And that only puts 491 hit points on there, so that drone will actually mm -hmm. just be like, not even worth my time. I'll get the Zerglings out eventually, take it down. Gas also going down, uh, probably going to go for some sort of speedly build. And I love this. He's blocked the add-on uh, for the barracks, but it doesn't really matter because a Marine is coming out of there anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, it would have uh, shooed him off. But uh, Pain User going to retreat away. And some good scouting by both these guys. Just finding out what is going to happen next. Looks like the spawning pool has just now finished. Likely going to be pumping out just enough Marines. Excuse me, just enough Zerglings to kill off. This Engineering Bay could be going for a very fast speed upgrade. Or alternatively could do some more of the one base antics that a lot of Zergs have been liking. Some fast Roach pushes uh, are increasingly becoming popular. Especially considering with that range boost on the Roaches. Uh, but Slush, again, very, very stuck in his ways of the fastest Zergling speed. Great build, nothing wrong with it at all. Yep, and we'll probably see a cancel here, but look at that. Opportunity for the SCV to move on in is going to see the Shimmering Pool, but doesn't really see much else. It would be even more significant if there was indeed like a Roach Warren in there or a Banelings Nest, but there is nothing of the sort. Queen will clean that up, and I believe we had a cancel on that eBay, got to assume, and the hatch is going to go down. Looks like more Marines en route. Factory just now started for Pain User. He's scooting back to get an add-on. Uh, he's also getting his second gas. Guys are up. And of course we could do predictions on what we think he'd do based upon what your average Terran does. But Pain User, as we've said, just kind of plays his own style. Very, very hard to predict. Yeah, he's also able to really adapt to different situations. Uh, Zerglings are going to poke forward. One Zergling does fall as four Marines chase them out of there. They will use the back door to exit. Uh, Queen is moving down now and uh, will be a little bit early for that hatch, but we've got a second one coming at the main hatch, so no worries about that. Continuing that uh, drone production, as you can see, we have a lot more uh, drones coming out than anything else. He's going to be content with just a few Zerglings, and uh, these other three are just going to patrol around the middle, checking the towers so far. Looks like Bunker going down now for Pain User, just gearing up to do a somewhat of a fast expansion. Hellion uh, also getting produced as well with some Marauders, so very interesting way to get a fast expansion up. We see Pain User stockpiling a ton of gas. I'm quite curious to see what his goals are. With that, now Slush did get the chance to see that Bunker. He knows that almost certainly an expansion is around the corner. He is getting his own layer up, a second geyser, beginning to spread creep, and with that expansion up, he can get, begin producing drones eight at a time so we will have plenty of econ going into the later stages yeah i'm really curious considering we've got no roach warren and uh no bailing nest 
uh, what exactly we're going to see. We could just see a very traditional uh, Ling Bling Muta uh, or just Ling Muta right now, but uh, he's just controlling the front there. He, the Speedlings are available and ready. There's the Baneling Nest uh, as the lair is about ready to complete. See if anything's going to supplement that at all. Uh, don't see anything quite yet. There's the Concussive Shells going down for the Terran as well as he continues to beef up this force at the front. Command Center just finished. Probably morph to an orbital and then uh, move that on over. Now this is a very, very interesting transition from Pain User. He's getting two factories. After he's taken this expansion, almost always you see players opting for more barracks or perhaps teching, getting tanks or something like that. But getting two naked factories to produce oh. those Hellions a few at a time. Now, honestly, you're going to be a little confused if you're slush seeing three Hellions, but you're not going to mind too much. We do see these add-ons going down now for Pain User. He could just be going for some kind of blue flame Hellion plus Marauder push, but as we see that Spire is getting close to finish, so here come some Hellions already beginning to actually oh. do some real damage to those drones, but they do get surrounded and picked off, so that's going to be all she wrote for that attack, and Slush is rapidly approaching finish on this Spire. And Slush actually still ahead on the worker count, even though uh, even though he did lose a few there. A little surprised that uh, he waited so long on these spine crawlers. Expected to see at least one there at the expansion. Could have helped uh -huh. out with those Hellions, but I think he deflected that pretty nicely. Just a handful of Zerglings are out, and Vision is uh, under command of the Zerg player right now, which I think is also very important. Slush also spreading his overlords out to just make sure he's got vision. Uh, the eBay being put at the back door, I believe that completely blocks this mm -hmm. off. And of course, it having a high hit point count makes it so Bailings can't just uh, break it down so easily. So uh, it does look like we are going to be going and transitioning into the mid and late game here uh, with the mutas out. How do you feel like uh, pain users is going to react to that? Well, Pain User is just playing very, very odd. Not bad, but, I mean, you never really see someone play in this style. He has the two factories out, and he just now finished the armory, so he's going to really need to begin that Thor production because, as we see, Mutalists are now out for Slush in the unit counting station. We see just four Mutas are out, but four more are underway. So unless he starts getting anti-air out fast, he could be in a lot of trouble, and he still hasn't begun making a Thor. He's just skirting on that edge. There it finally goes down. But let's see if he can manage to deflect this pushing. Yeah, here we got some, some Mutas coming up through the back. He's going to go ahead and uh, work on that engineering bay a little bit, uh, which gives him more time to get more Mutas out here, do some damage, and it will uh, move these Marines here. Marines now moving in position, just doing a little bit of damage, but that will be it. Uh, just forcing him to make some moves here. He's actually going to fly right over the barracks and into the main. Found a beautiful opening there. There is one missile turret, but he's going to do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, the main base... Blue Flame Hellions are swinging around the backside, but Pain User was not oh paying attention. No. Oh, lost a huge opportunity to do some serious pain, and is instead getting surrounded and eliminated by Zerglings, and now he ends up seeing it. Might get some extra shots off of with the Thor done. He's finally repelled the Mutalist, but not before taking a good chunk of damage. But man, that oh. was a big window for Pain User to deal some pain but was just too focused on the attack in his own main base. I cannot believe it. Actually targeting the extractor with the amount of time that those uh, those Hellions were actually <laughs> yeah. firing, it could have roasted all those drones there. Meanwhile, look at this uh, quick, quick gold take by Slush. Moves some spine crawlers up here, starting to gather his mutas around. That hatchery's almost done. He's going to be transitioning some drones over to that. And uh, we have not quite seen any sort of push by pain user and when I say push I don't necessarily mean an attack but I mean this like this overwhelming want to take over this middle area as Terran. Mm -hmm. We do see the Baneling speed has been researched at the Baneling nest. No Banelings out yet and Festers being produced. Slush continuing to mass up a good amount of those Mutalists now scooting these spine crawlers forward to defend this vulnerable side from any potential Hellion business. Pain user doing uh, an infantry Thor mix getting another factory. He's doing a half and half. Could even be getting a reactor add-on to this one. There it goes down so we can get some blue flame Hellions out as well. But this is a very uh, unorthodox mixture where you have just a lot of Thors to take the damage and then the leftover Marines and Marauders to deal the damage. Hoping that the Ling Baneling doesn't really surround you and kill you too much. But all the upgrades coming out for Slush now. 
Well, that means Slush has a great little army composition starting to be put together. Infestors stopping those Marines. Banelings moving in for the big attacks. Uh, even using the Mutas to uh, down the Thors or anything else that's left over. Those Zerglings, whatever. Uh, so this is looking pretty good for him right now. Uh, he does... I'm not sure that he has... I'm going to have to check here. The energy upgrade quite yet. He's working on it right now. The pathogen lands for the Infestor, so he's not going to build too many before he gets that upgrade. And more Banelings uh, continue to be more here. Yeah, I mean, having a lot of Banelings, so good against a wide variety of Terran units, even Thors and tanks, they get clustered pretty easily, and the Banelings can rip through them quite nicely, and it looks like Gold Expo trying to be taken by Pain User. It almost gets beaten by the creep spread, but it does look like this Command Center will finish in time 